Hi, welcome back to another brewing review. So we're having a brew, Peter's over there. He's the brew master. And today we're gonna to be reviewing the Four Class 700 Ultra Compact Air Structure Mattress. As you can see, it's a compact mattress. This is um, a first look, I should say, more than a review because I haven't even opened it or blown it up yet. So we don't know what it's like. I'm going to find out at the same time as you find out. Every time I think I'm going to wake up back in the jungle. Every time I think I'm going to wake up back in the jungle. This is from Decathlon. And it is probably, well, until I open it, I don't know what it probably is. I bought it not long ago, actually, but I just haven't used it. Did buy it for um, <coughs> use in the tent. But well, I'm going to try it in the mattress between the layers, and sorry, inside the um, hammock, between the two layers of the hammock. Because some people like to use these in a hammock. I never have, so I don't know what that's like either. So we'll find that out together. What does it say on the bag? I think it says it's got two years guarantee, 600 grams, one pound... I can't really see it without my other glasses, but I'll show you it. And I put all the um, weights dimensions in anyway, as I usually do with my reviews. Brand new, straight out the pack. It's the XL, so it's wide and it's a full length one as well. That is long, isn't it? I'll put down how long it is as well, measurements. Trouble with these is, can you blow them down enough, get the air out to get them back in their packs? There's some info on there. This was $34.99 from Decathlon. I think it's the newer one. I haven't seen any, I tried to do a review, well not a review, have a look on YouTube to see what this was like before I bought it and I couldn't find any. So it must be a fairly new product says on there the four class air structure 700 ultra compact i've straight away noticed that this has got little grippy rubber things on it these are sticky they feel like they they want to stick to you so that must be helping it when you're lying on it so it doesn't slide out from underneath you because that has happened before with these mats when i've used them this is pretty massive, to be honest. They do one that isn't an XL. Damn, this is a big old mat. This is massive. Yeah, I'm gonna use it in the tent. That's what I bought it for. There is a lot of um, info. Oh, it's got the date it was made, I think. 2018-05 but then it says 2018-19 whatever that means oh, I must I don't know there's lots of info on there not for use on water I don't know if you can read that but I don't want to drag this around on the floor the floor is nasty yeah so I'm going to try and pump it up with my mouth this is the only way you're allowed to do this Right, this thing is massive. That is massive. I don't even know if, if you can even see me behind it. It's so big. I didn't really, <laughs> I didn't think it'd be that big. I'm not sure I'm telling you. Right, let's pump it up. In and out, that's the in. There's so many blows it takes to blow it up.
think that's nearly up. That's hard now. You can tell by the sound of it. That's not going anymore. Oh, it's shrunk a bit now. It's gone up. It's still big though, isn't it? That's at least, oh, six over six foot, over six foot tall. So one size yellow, one size grey. Like I say, it's got really sticky patches on it. These are sticky, so your sleeping bag will stick to it. Not like glue, but it just won't slide off. I'm going to put it inside the hammock sleeves because there's two there's an opening on this hammock so you can get it inside if I can find it there it is this is the DD Frontline XL and this is an XL airbed so it'll slip in there quite nicely Get it in there properly. Try and get it in the middle. So it's in between my sleeve layers of my hammock. So now I can put the hammock back over it. There's my pillow. I'll show you, there's a review to this pillow. I'll put a link to it at the end. And then these just Velcro shut, the sleeve. It's designed to put layers in, so you can have warm layers and all sorts in there. Now the moment of truth, I'm gonna get in it and see how it feels. I've never put an air bed in a hammock in my life. So I have no idea what this is gonna be like. Get the pillow in nice. Well, definitely feels different. It's really nice. That's not bad, actually. I mean, I bought it for the tent so I could have a lightweight camp and carry a tent. But this, this is all right. I like this. Let me feel it. Oh well, that's well well outside of me. I've got about that much each side. I think it's two foot. So I'll measure it and put the measurements in. But yeah, this is comfy. Peter have a go on it a bit when he's finished lazing in his hammock over there. Got a brew over there. Let me go and get my brew. Well, you can see the shape of my hammock now. It's really sort of like pushed it out and it's not moving around in there either. So it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Like I say, I'll put, look at it. That's the size of it. It goes from here to here. It's a big old bit of um, air bed that. And there's Peter and his. I've got my brew. Cheers. I have to get back to you on um, how this pans out because I'm going to use it next time. Whether it's hammer core tent, I'll try it in both, and then I'll give you an update on that. But that's it. That's the first look of it. Let's get that down. And there it is. The four class yellow um, air structure. Right, I've been lying in it now for about half an hour. Pit has been in it for 15 minutes. It's really warm on your back. We've got a breeze here. I've been in his hammock, you feel the chill, but this keeps that chill off you. Your back's warm. I don't know if it's insulated, I'll have to find that out. But it's, I don't, I just don't think, it doesn't look insulated, but it could have sunk in there. It's really warm. It's really nice, it's really comfortable. It's really, it's really good. So now I'm going to do the dreaded bit no one likes and that's to blow it, get it let down and try and put it back in its bag. 
and see how that goes because you know how that can be quite difficult. Right, so there's an in and an out. They're different. This one's got a bit of string on it, and this one's got a tape, like a tab on it, and that's the out. Oh, it's easy, isn't it? So now I'm just going to do what I usually do and roll it. No, I'm not. I'm going to fold it, then roll it. Just don't want it touching the ground. That's what I don't like. I'm only trying to get the air out. This won't be my finished, how I'm going to finish it with rolling it, but I just want to get the air out. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just basically rolling it. Having a hammock's easy, but then again, if you're in a tent, you'd do this in the tent, wouldn't you? unroll it because I don't like folding it like that I want to fold it differently so I'm going to fold it in half as it was start at the end away from the holes that let the air out I've got a microphone attached to me, which I don't want to be bashing against. Otherwise I'd do it all up in my chest like this, it's easier. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. So I've got it down to about here. I'm going to push that plug back in, the out plug, and then we'll see if it goes in the bag. You probably don't need this, this is blatantly obvious what, what this does and in and out it's written on there anyway. To be honest, that's probably one of the easiest airbeds I've ever put back in a bag. I just didn't want it draping on the floor. But yeah, <clears throat> easy to blow up, easy to let down, easy to pack away. Not bad impressed with it actually the warmth it gave me in my back as well i wasn't expecting to be feel so warm on an airbed with just air in it but it did it held the heat so good not bad actually i think it's really good thanks a lot thanks for watching please subscribe if you like this stuff and give me a thumbs up if you feel like it if you didn't like the video always give it a thumbs down don't be afraid to do that if you don't like something and also don't forget to hit the notifications if you do subscribe because then You'll get all the updates as they come up. You don't have to wait until it circulates. It will come up straight away for you. Thanks a lot. See you later. Bye.